If you're listening on podcasts, be sure to tune in to our YouTube channel on YouTube at Wild and Weird WV. Welcome to Wild and Weird Radio, a Wild and Weird West Virginia podcast. Welcome back to Wild and Weird Radio. Oh my God, it feels like it has been forever, Ron. It has been. We've been temporarily misplaced in an alternate reality, time and space and all that stuff, I believe. Oh, you mean we're not actually dead? Uh, nope, <laughs> we're not. We uh, we were we were just... Uh, in, inconvenienced by um some really cool stuff and uh you know had to had to had to focus on that for a little bit so yeah yeah and we're, and we're still are getting ready to start firing back up again so yeah and uh so we're not fully out uh and back into full production of the podcast just yet this is just a drop in because my god we got a lot of People asking where you guys have been yep. uh they're genuinely worried about us which is just awesome um Thank you guys. Uh, but yeah, we're still here. And uh, not only we're we still here, we've got a we've got a lot to talk about. A whole and, lot to talk about. But, so. but just for everybody who's listening, we have kept up with the live shows every Thursday. So if you're wanting yep. to catch us and stay in a schedule, the best way to do that is to jump on that Thursday live stream at 8 p.m. Eastern on YouTube. That's um, right. We're we're still cranking away with that one, but we've just kind of slowed it down because we've been busy. We've yeah, been busy. You can't and, really. And a uh, lot of people who follow us on social media, you you now know why. Yeah. But for everybody else, Ron, what have yeah. we been doing? Well, we've been doing a lot of stuff. I mean, there's was there's been, you know, the the Mothman thing. We finally can reveal that the escape room is yep. now fully Officially operational. Open. Yes. And uh you can book your your amazing experience there. We had a great hand in uh, creating a lot of what the script called for uh, from props to puzzle making to literally everything uh, design the de- some, set decorations like we, we decorated stuff. the rooms we yeah there's new stuff we built like props that. for the rooms we yeah. worked out um, the protocols for the you know made the, the rooms survivable yeah, not rooms just survivable. on the puzzle aspects but the physical mm-hmm. aspects yeah Made it fun. Made it very yeah. fun and enjoyable and a really cool experience for everybody. So it's a very cool room. It's a very big room. Yeah, it's um, big. It's not it's not your typical escape room. There nope. are three rooms in the price nope. of one. And they're big. They're not little rooms. They're really good size rooms. Yeah. Um, I'll just tell you now that the first room is the hardest. Congratulations. I know we did great on that one, Joe. Um, we brought that one to life pretty well, I think. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's, that's going to be a really cool thing for you guys to get in there and, uh, you know, go check out. That's a lot of fun. Uh, I'll throw up the, uh, info down here at the bottom. And, and then uh, the Mothman mini golf. We, we did some set, right. set production for that, as well as right. some of the video production that is used in the first room there. Yep. Um, that's officially open. So the Mothman glow in the dark mini golf, which I know you guys had heard us talk about it. Uh, um, Mothman blacklight mini golf is just fantastic. That's all that I could say about that. I think we had, uh, yeah, there's a video. You can go watch that. Yep, of, of yep, us we going did up a there. promo video for it. Yeah, promo video. Uh, just fantastic. I've been up there several times now and played and uh, I love it. Um, the latest edition, I believe they have scorecards now. Yes, they've got scorecards. So, uh, hole number six. Well, how many pars do you think it is? Uh, realistically, or what they actually put on the card? <laughs> realistically, what do you think it is? Realistically, it's at least uh, it, you can do it if you're really good. You can do it in four. Mm-hmm. If you're really good. Mm-hmm. But being comp- oh, really? It's a par three, if I'm not mistaken. 
Oh, boy. Um, I would I would definitely uh, d- uh, give you a birdie on that because that's a uh, that's a rough one. It's a really well, rough. Yeah, one. I, I would personally make that a part. That's that's one of the hardest ones. I got it on uh, I got it on three the last time I was up there. You did get it on. I three? I don't know how I did it, but I did. Yeah. When we well, were you had played it multiple times at that point. Mm-hmm. I had, and I've also uh, taken a quite a liking to uh, VR mini golf. Um, I'm going to tell you that uh, that there's there's the little settings in there. You can tweak that yeah. and make it just almost identical to uh, a real golf course. Very cool. If you haven't played it, I suggest it. Uh, if you like mini golf, anyway. But uh, yeah, it does help, and uh, it really did improve the game. I think so. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, so on top of the other stuff, uh, the games and whatnot that we've, we've been involved in, because we've literally lived at Point Pleasant now. Um, yeah, yeah, we have. For uh, for a bit. Uh, and for those Months. who don't know, also, uh, we, uh, we've we revealed that uh, we do have a uh, facility there. Uh, we do. That we call headquarters now. Uh, Wild and Weird West Virginia actually has a, um, has a headquarters. It is the... Um, it is the home of the um, the collective now, mm-hmm. and uh, has a whole new you know symbol and all that stuff. It's real fancy, smancy. But anyway, uh, you'll see that in our other project that we are now uh, able to talk about, and that would be Paranormal Horizons, uh, which we're. And if you're listening to this show on leave. normal release day, you've got two days to get ready. For the this, worldwide release of Paranormal this Horizons, sh- because this Sunday is July the 14th, That's which right. is the world release day. So definitely go check that out because it is worldwide release on the 14th. Um, and, uh, you know, we got a little sneak peek there. You can take a look at it and see what you think. And we'll, we're going to talk a little bit about it, just a little bit. This is not the show about it. So, you know, just to let you know, we're not going to go on and on and on about that. Um, you'll get to hear that later. But, uh, Right now, here you go, go, guys. You got it. Go ahead. We're standing in an area right now, and we are starting to see a radiation spike. We just got a vocalization up here. Something vocalized, and we got a radiation spike up. Here. We got 29 right here. We got 30. That coincided perfectly with uh, Adam uh, sending a signal. We hit 30, and you hit it at the exact same time. I don't know what I make of that. That is very bizarre. something literally responding to us every time we talk about this it comes back it comes back i don't know what to do with that <laughs> it's, but it's right there it's, it's a little concerned is that rolling yeah this is rolling did you hear that and there it is there so in a nutshell, that's what we've been up to. Um, we have been creating a series uh, produced f- um, by Small Town Monsters, created by us. Um, and it's basically our research. It's our documentation of uh, the stuff we've seen in the fields during the investigations. You're going to get some backstories. It'll, it's actually a very good – it's a series. And there's actually art to this series um, in cases that uh, that seem to uh, relate to each other, right? Kind of. In one way or another. Yeah, there's, in one way or the other. common thread somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether it is directly influenced by the case itself or something that happens to us while we're doing an investigation that yeah. pulls us back into an old direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like there's a few things there that are – that are definitely they pop up from time to time, but we have a uh, we're some pretty good people that have come on board for this, and uh, it's to, to kind of look at the phenomena in a more objective way. I think that's the best way to put it. And the phenomena being, you know, the whole high strangeness aspect, and not just of UFOs, but how it relates to everything: cryptozoology, UFOs, paranormal, all of it. yeah, all of. It. All the above. Because there's elements of high strangeness throughout all of these strange and bizarre cases in Mm -hmm. one way or another. People will experience various missing time phenomena. They'll experience possible illusions. They will have seen orbs or had something that seemed like it followed them home. Mm. Yeah. Well, we definitely do see the... um 
you know, the orb phenomena. Um, you might see a few of those, by the way, in this uh, in this series as it goes on. Just just saying, and uh, I really like the way it turned out. Uh, I liked being able to uh, do this the way that we wanted to, to do it. And uh, yeah. you know, huge thanks to uh, to Seth for uh, allowing us to do that. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it because it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we will also once a month on the lives, our lives, be um, talking about it a little bit after the show right. kind of thing. After it premieres, we're going to do something called Beyond the Horizon, and uh, that's where you're going to be able to come on live and ask a few questions. After the it. show, it's a, you'll have a few days to digest what you've yep. just watched. And then join us live. Ask your questions about what was going on, and we'll tell you what we can. Yeah, um, yeah, because because some of it actually pertains to future episodes, right? So, so you you know that's uh, it, it gets kind of tricky, but uh, we'll share what we absolutely can. But in the end, the whole thing is you will get to see all the data. That's that's the point of the whole series. Everything, all of it, and, is on the table. And one of the other cool aspects about this series is for years, you've listened to us talk about the collective. You've heard us reference it. You've heard us talk about some of these individuals. Well, this is our show. We get to do what we want. So who do we call when we need help? Yeah, the put the team together. That's what you do. You know, so that's exactly what we did. We, uh, you know, we we assembled all of them together for the first time ever, really. And um, yeah. you know, in some of these cases, it was a massive, a massive assault uh, on a few of these places. So uh, it was very interesting and very cool to see that much gear thrown at a particular area. And uh, you know, some of the stuff we got, boy, it was uh, it's challenging. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to say it's challenging because. Very. You know, I'm not one of those people, you know this, anyone who listens to the show knows this. It's about data. It's not about your beliefs. And uh, what's funny is we have to look at both sides of this now because um, it is pertaining to other belief systems in ways. And we have to literally put that on the table as, you know, to address that as well. So yeah. it gets tricky. This is probably the most complicated and tricky uh, project that I've ever been involved with, and I know it's probably uh, the same for you. Yeah, it really has been. Um, there, you want to put things very nice and neat into into certain categories, but sometimes you just can't. And we find that throughout this series on a couple couple occasions where just some. Anomalies be anomaly in. <laughs> yeah. Anomalies be anomaly in. I think that's a new shirt, probably. Right, mm -hmm. and um, it, it's it's been really fun. You know, mm -hmm. we've we've been able to explore some different areas that we'd never been in. Um, you'll get to be right along the journey for that. We're going to be uh, taking taking you guys into in depth, Wineberry. Yeah, many of you guys for the first time. Well, watch this show will be taken into Wineberry. I'll be honest with you. Over the course of a four year span. Yeah, I was going to say, we've been there and it still blows my mind. Yeah. Because I and, don't know what that was. I don't know what we encountered out there. But, you know, again, you get to see it all. So you make your own mind up. And I think that's important too. Um, this isn't one of those shows where we're going to come out and tell you, you know, this is a ghost. This is a UFO. This is an alien. This is a this. This is that. This is a show that we're going to say, this is what we think it is. And here's the data. You decide whatever that means to you. Right. That's that's what it's going to be. Uh, and if you look at it and you say, oh, it's a bunch of crap, then, oh, that's a bunch of crap to you. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> because, We've you know. We've done our job. We we've put done it on our the job. Table. Exactly. And. I'm pretty proud of it. Let's just put it that At way. At the end of the day, yeah. there's far more questions than answers. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, there is. I mean, it's uh, it's one of those things where I don't know that it, when you get it. I mean, we said this before, and now you've seen it since, yeah. you know, we can put it all in into this story format and document and, and show this. It just It just leaves you with more questions. You got so many people who are like, I just want to see a Bigfoot. I just want to see this. I want to see a UFO. Why? 
Why do you? Because it's not going to help you. If you just want to see it, that's cool. But if you think that you're going to get something from it, if you think that you're going to get some answer, you're not. It's just the only to... thing you might get from it based off our experiences with uh, witnesses is possibly PTSD. I mean, it's yeah. Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. And I don't know why you would want that. <laughs> no, you don't. Trust me. You don't want that. You don't want that. It shouldn't be on your bingo card. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we we will work with people and have worked with people. Yeah. And you'll meet some of those people through this series that have experienced that kind of reaction and had that visceral, emotional, oh, my God moment. And could not go back from it. Yeah, and it's really just it's it's one thing when you know you're hearing these cool stories, right, yeah. about this encounter, that encounter. But when you have witnesses who sitting in front of you and they're telling you those stories, it's just like, man, this is this is real. And well, we've been there before. We just you know couldn't document that particular one, and um, it's real to hear those accounts and to realize that these people are experiencing something they cannot put their finger on. They don't, it doesn't fit, you know, it's way beyond, you know, the whole ontological shock at that point. It's just something that should not be yet. It is. And, um, they have to deal with that. And it's, it's really, uh, it's really hard. It, it has been. And it's, it's, uh, <sighs> It's rewarding, though, from mm -hmm. our perspective, getting to work with those individuals. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah it's tough, definitely. And and whenever we get the opportunity to do those things, we we do our due diligence, just like we've talked about here for years on the show. Um, and it's just really awesome that we finally have the opportunity to connect this to a much larger audience, mm -hmm. and to show people what exactly we've been doing for the last several years and uh, show well, what's people what's really funny about this, Joe, is we've why we've won this. the awards we've won, why we've been given the accolades we've been given, why we've been put in the series and the documentaries that we've been put in. Yeah. You get to see the why. <laughs> yeah. Well, the funny thing is, you know, we've talked about it like, we have documented all this stuff for forever. And it was like, you know, one day we'll do something with this. One day we'll do something with this footage, you know. Oh, look, that's a really cool investigation. What are we ever going to do with it? Throw it on YouTube. I don't know. But, you know, uh, and um, and then this comes along and it's like, well, this is this is a bookend to this. This is this is a this is a story. And, uh, you know, everyone's always oh, you guys need to write a book. You need to write a book. Well. Here's your book. Um, yeah. You know, one day we, we probably will do that as well. But right now, uh, you get to look at it first. It's very yeah, visual. You'll get to, watch it. You'll get to very, watch it first and consume it that way. Very, very much akin to uh, the way Legend Meets Science uh, was produced, how you got to watch it first. And then Jeffrey posted and, and pr produced the, uh, the book that was Legend Meets Science and is now doing the same thing. For a part two, um, we you'll, what's you'll the story on that? By the way, um, we just you know there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of movement in that, from what I understand. But there have been um, uh, they've been filming some more. They've been getting some stuff moving ahead. They still don't have a, a, a final release date. Okay, but they're they're doing some filming. Um, I know they're going to be coming out here to Appalachia sometime. Yeah. Um, Doug, we, we set uh, mm -hmm. a few about a month and a half ago. We set yeah. and, and had a um, a fantastic evening with Doug Hatchick. Yeah, he's awesome. He's and, an incredible individual. And so we were given some insight into what's going on, the pacing, where they're at. And, and well, I'll whatnot. tell you this: if if what he's saying is right, it's going to be it's going to be something. So. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's going to be really something. And I'm looking forward just, you know, I know everybody's looking for the big data sets. I, I like the little data sets that I got hints of. And, uh, that's, that's what I'm kind of interested in. Like, I want to, I want to see, you know, how that, how does that relate to what we've managed to capture? Exactly. You know, it's like, does that validate it or is that something completely different? I don't know. And we're going to find out uh, eventually. Um, Let's 
see what else has been happening out here in the in the wild and weird world. Oh, we've done several shows. We um, we came back from Monster Fest. Uh, yes, we just we're, we're fresh off Monster, Monster Fest, Fest right now. Yeah, Monster Fest Two um, was a, a hit and uh, incredible uh, guests, and we got to actually do a. Uh, uh, they called it a demo, but I call it a mini presentation. Um, because that's pretty much what it turned into uh, and people, they loved it. So, you know, I expect that we'll probably be doing that again at some point in the future at another very big festival that we'll release in the near future. Uh, talking about that. There's always so many secrets with us. So many secrets. We just like to keep the cards to the chest. You yeah. know, we've always been that way. Well, even when we were doing the reptile mm-hmm. stuff. It's just, well, been you, how. Yeah, you, how we played the game and and stayed where we were and any any good um researcher business owner whatever does that you don't keep all your cards out on the table because you know well something might mess those cards up exactly that's the biggest concern is something could mess exactly. those cards up exactly and the other is somebody could try to beat you to the punch that's right but and that's just how it goes yeah well, you know, and and to speak on that, um, you do hear people talking about that a lot. You hear people like, you know, I was first, I was first. You know, I think it's very important to understand that none of us were first. Uh, if we're doing any of this, chances are we're building it off of a brick that someone had laid down at some point. Yeah. Now, we may be adding our own bricks to it. Yes, absolutely, 100%. But we are building it. And that's what it should be. Everyone should be working together either throughout time or throughout the time that they have to try to solve these these puzzles rather than fight about who laid that brick first. You know, that's uh, that's just kind of, uh, you know, I I don't think it's it's very um, it's not a crucial thing. I think that, that your work will speak for itself. That's that's what I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The proof's in the pudding, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, um, you yeah. know, but th- there are there are advantages to building things and doing things differently, which you guys will see. You'll mm-hmm. see the approaches we take. You'll you'll start to yeah. um, hopefully adopt some of the terminology and approaches that we use uh, through watching the show and seeing how we implement um, data recovery. Yeah. And how we analyze things instead of just classifying it as whatever we want to classify it as. <laughs> right, right. You do have that. And you also have nods to past researchers. So yep. let's not forget that. Because a lot of what we're doing is based, like I said, on the work of others that, for whatever reason, has just simply been ignored. Yeah. Which is sad because I really think that a lot of it, it's important. And, uh, oh, 100%. and 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 part, part of the reason why you see these things getting ignored and pushed aside from time to time is, is generally because of an overshadowing. And suddenly there's something new that's trendy. There's something new that's, oh, yeah, let's look, look over here. Look at the shiny thing. And everybody suffers. From, that is true. You know, yeah, that is true. Yeah. They suffer from squirrel syndrome. Yeah. And it's just squirrel. And and there they go. They're off to that direction. And then then an entire entire database gets Gone. ignored at that point. Mm-hmm. And for decades. Or or for example, um, I'll, I'll use me as a prime example. Um, I used to be someone who would read the work of people like John Kill, um, not religiously, but I would read the work digest what he had had to say and then you know do whatever but then after some listening to different interviews and how people were speaking and responding and saying the saying things at that point i had gotten a certain level of disdain for for john keel and quit looking at his research quit looking at anything beyond Mothman prophecies. Quit looking at anything like that because I was just like, ah, this guy, you know, like, oh god, this guy. 
And um, now, because of what we're doing, you know, we've had to take a look back. I've had to sit back and say, okay, I've actually got to go back and read this stuff again, uh, or I've got to go back and take a, a look at it with different eyes that aren't jaded, that aren't accusatory, um, and and you know, be realistic with what what I'm seeing and and say, okay, yeah, he had some good ideas. No, he'd have good ideas. He had he had a a way of looking at things that wouldn't be looked at for decades. Right. So yeah. he was he was ahead of the game. He was on the bleeding edge yep. by about 30 years. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. And uh, you know, that's you know, unfortunately that that's that's what happened. So yeah, there's a lot of walking in some really big shoes in this uh in this series. And um uh, it's it's pretty it's it does not go unnoticed, let's put it that way. Yep. So you're gonna see that, you're gonna see some really cool stuff. You might even see some myths get busted along the way because it's a little bit of everything all rolled into one. It's it's you know, when someone comes to you and says, Hey, want to make a, a show about the paranormal? And yeah, sure. What do you what are you thinking? I don't know. What are you thinking? When they give you that kind of power, <laughs> that kind of control to just yeah. have full creative control over a project. Yeah. So you start looking back at the way that some of these old shows that you were, you know, when you grew up, you're watching like sightings and unsolved mysteries and you know, all these yep. other things. And you look at how they were put together and you're like, I kind of like that that little formula there, and then, but I like this, and then I like that, and and me pull this from over here, and then you put it all in a blender, and you turn it on, and then you pour it out, and and you got Paranormal Horizons, pretty much, pretty much like that, but uh, yeah, so it's going to be really fun. Like I said, if you guys, uh, you know, as soon as you get done watching this, go watch it. I mean, yeah. I don't know why you're watching this. I'd be watching it. You know, be, you know, <laughs> right, go jump over to there. Yeah, and, go watch it first. And you, ne- and then never watch this. you never know. We we might instantly become infinitely more popular than than what we currently are. Well, you talk right about now. we might have two thousand subscribers. What is that? What you're saying? Because I think that's what I just heard we, you say. We might go over two thousand. Maybe. No. Maybe. Who knows? Right. Who knows? That'll. It probably happen. won't be after episode one. <laughs> It'll be like. It'll it be after episode, after episode two. They're going to get the hook set. Mm, and that yeah. that's that's when they're they're done for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so too. I think episode yeah, episode two one's good. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not I'm not pooping on episode one. Episode one's really good, but it's episode two point. is all of a sudden like it goes from sixty to one hundred and twenty. Well, <laughs> let's not forget episode one. We literally filmed it in in sequence, and episode we one did. was our very first thing. And while we were there, something weird happened. Oh yeah. And, and that's what led to episode two. Yep. Directly. Yep. Because episode two was actually yep. supposed to be something completely different. It was. There, <laughs> and then, a lot of, then, it, well, then it became what it was. And, you know, and we'll t- say this right now. This is the whole thing I'm talking about with that whole weird factor with all this stuff. It's like all these synchronicities. It just seemed like um, we were pointed in directions during yeah. this whole process. And it was just, it's strange. And, you know, it's not over yet uh, by any means. Yeah, we're, we're only six episodes deep that are finished. We've yeah. got six more to go, guys. This yeah. is a 12-episode series. Yeah. So, you know, and if you like it, ask for more. You know, there might be another and, season. Who knows? <laughs> because we still have six more to go, if you have had something yep. strange happen, give us a call. Yep. Uh, you never know what could happen because it might tie into one of the pre – because our, our six episodes, the ones we have left to do, we already know what they're going to be. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that we can't add something to it. So if you have had an experience that you are willing to share publicly, um, by all means, reach out. Because if it fits, if it fits, yeah. we will give you a shout. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, that's another thing. You know, you don't really have to show your face. You know, we can we can do that. Oh, all yeah. Anonymous. Yeah, we can straight yeah. up night. 1992 right. black you out with a robo yep. voice yep. just got, like well, I got it right here it's right here i can do it right yeah. here yeah just scramble your voice you make that happen like that and you're like will um, be the coolest person in the would, episode it would be like um what was that um oh what 
was that? Larry King, um, the the UFO episode live from Area Fifty One. Uh, yep. Yeah. When they when they had the uh, yeah those guys in there, that was great. That was awesome. That's fun times. That, and then UFO cool. cover up live. Let's not yeah. forget that one. That was a good one. That was, that was a uh, that was real fun. Was, that's when we got to see old uh, Falcon, I believe, and uh, you know, yep. who, who we now think we know who that was, but um, you know, famous disinformation person. We won't say their name, but we we now think we know who that was, and uh, you know, but you know, it was very dramatic and it looked cool. So yeah, yeah. That'll be Very good. awesome. So you yeah. guys would instantly become the coolest person in the show. They could be. Everybody be like, who's that person? Who is that? Yeah. They'll be wondering for 20 years because that's what they did with yeah. this one. And then they finally figured it out. So eventually they'll figure your secret out. So I'm saying, guys, so just, you know, be careful. But you probably won't care about then anyway. No, you won't care. It won't matter. <laughs> it'll, it'll be old hat, but man, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, so we've got, um, we've got yeah. some stuff coming up, too. Yep. Yeah. We, we have some stuff we're going to be popping up at different events the rest of the year. Uh, because yeah. of Paranormal Horizons, we have cut back uh, a lot of shows for this year. Normally, we we do about you know 12 to 14 shows a year. This year, we're only doing, like I think, seven, eight I total. Know. I don't know. It's about half, something like that. There, there's, there's where you can find us. Um, knock off the first one, Monster Fest. We've got the Braxton That's County good. Fair coming up August well, 2nd. Woods. Flatwood Flat Monster Con on September 14th, Mothman Festival September 21st through the 22nd, Thunder in the yeah. Mountains Pow Wow, yeah. uh, October 12th and 13th, and then to round out the year as usual, the big family reunion at Cryptid Con. Yep, Cryptid Con Lansing, there. Kentucky, Cryptid November Con. 22nd and 24th. Yep, yep. And, uh, you know, it's just... You know, we had to do that because they're, you know, these these things take forever to produce and, and actually yeah. put together and edit and and whatnot. So you know, um, so that there's a lot of work involved, and so that takes up a lot of time. And not to mention, you saw those big events that are still in there. There's a lot of stuff we have to still make. Yeah, because we make our own stuff. We don't buy it from overseas and have it delivered to our doorstep. Mm -hmm. Not unless it's for us. <laughs> there's molds right here right there <laughs> they're all over the place yeah. and then there's paintings all over the place at Ron's house and, and yeah. bits and pieces of earrings yeah, there's all kinds of stuff but the point being uh, yeah we, we make the stuff so we have to have time to do that on top of you know making these this series uh, it's one thing to make a make a movie I guess and it's another thing to make 12 <laughs> right you know, these are hour long, hour fifteen minute long episodes. Some of them to go from twenty minute videos on YouTube to uh, you know four K um, full on you know production. That's yeah, that would that's a, yeah. a good time. But um, but we're doing it, and we're we're going to make it happen. And you know, God, again, it's because of you. This is seriously yep. all because of you. You're watching it. You're asking for it. You're you want to know what's happening. You know, like I said, I've had several reach out and like, where are you guys at? What's going on? We kept saying we couldn't tell you. We couldn't say exactly, but we're okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the messages just poured <clears throat> in, and <clears throat> and they were going to Wild and Weird West Virginia, the Wild and Weird Radio, our personal pages. And you know, just Good fielding job. those questions, Good like, "Hey, job. I promise we're okay." So, guys, we're we're, we're <clears throat> still here. This this episode specifically is just for you guys to know yeah, that yeah. we still have a pulse. Yeah, we're still out there. We're still unless out there. we're actually AI. No, we're not AI. This is real. This is all good. Don't tell them that stuff. It's going to be bad enough. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we will return with the actual podcast, the audio yeah. version of this podcast soon. Uh, but it will be after we get done you yeah, know, it'll be after filming that. and all that. And you also have to remember that we're also going to be after this. We'll be promoting the show. Uh, yeah. So we will be at other events and whatnot talking about that. Uh, so, you know, next, expect next year, keep an eye out. Our event schedule will probably be a little heavier next year of doing the promotional yeah. run for this. Yeah, it'll be a little heavy. And then we've got, um, you know, some things that are happening this year as well that we haven't confirmed yet that should come up shortly. Uh, so, you know, you'll be you'll be hearing about that as well. So, yeah, you're going to you're going to see enough of us. That's for sure. Don't yeah. worry. We're still here. That's the that's the point. And we still have a lot to do, a whole lot to do. So, um, 
apparently the world just keeps getting, you know, weirder in the process of us, you know, doing the things that we're doing, by the way. Um, remember, we did start doing our presentation on, uh, you know, the UFO contact phenomena that, you know, literally the week that Grush came out. So this is all par for the course, you know, it's like all this stuff kind of comes together as we're working on this one thing. And it's, oh, wait, I got to stop now and go back and grab this and and put this in here, you know. Yep. I, I think that happens a lot. I think, um, who was it? Was that James Fox that talked about that when he was making uh, one of his movies? He said yep. that he had to keep going back because they kept <laughs> something they would come kept, out on the news. They kept putting out more stuff that was no longer speculation <laughs> yeah. that could actually be yeah. documented and put into the film. Yeah, yeah, there's that. So, speaking of films, again, this is a film heavy show. You know, we should have had Seth on for this one. I didn't know that it was going to be, you know, this launch or we, we would have, but. Good news. Uh, he is going to come on a future uh, show here soon, and we're going to talk about some stuff. But um, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but they re-released Close Encounters of the Third Kind. For in two, theaters. Two days only in theaters. The 7th and the 10th. I didn't see it on the 7th, but guess who has tickets for tomorrow night? <laughs> nice yeah i know uh it's a pretty big deal honestly because i you know i i didn't get to see the uh remastered version oh i have the 4k version upstairs it is beautiful yeah when, I, when I, we I, bought our uh, first 4k tv mm -hmm. it we bought it at the same time that that released so the tv and the movie came home on the same day and that was the first thing that was played on that new tv <laughs> Yeah, the color is just absolutely fantastic. I've seen, you know, yeah. clips from it and whatnot, but I've never actually seen that remastered version. I've only seen the original VCR version. That's right. Man, I'd I'd love to go that. sit and listen to it in THX. Yeah, just have the freaking chairs vibrated off that's, the floor. That's the plan. And it's like, you know, and you gotta think about then back in, you know, when thing was released was 78, right? Yep, 78. 78. When it was released, that didn't exist. Nope. So, you know, you're getting the film, but it's really highly upgraded at this point and yeah. uh it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool, I think. And and to be clear, the digital effects are still the same effects which are they the just practical effect them. UFOs. Mm -hmm. All they have done is sharpen them, make yep. them cleaner, make it look better, brighter, beautiful. bolder. Absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely unreal. Those colors are just un incredible. I don't know how many people are modelers who actually listen to the show, but I've seen several people attempt to make the mothership. There's a couple. I saw one not too long ago. There was actually a uh, STL where you print it out yourself. Um, and it was it's pretty good. It's really good. But what they did when they made that thing was they just threw all kinds of junk together. Yeah, it was kit bashed. It was it was all it was. It's um, amazing. Parts. The stuff that's in that thing is just amazing. But uh, there's some really good, um, really good representations of it. And it's really cool. So, you know, either way, I thought it was one of the most clever UFOs that I think that uh, we had ever seen, still have ever seen oh, in, in any kind of uh, production because it's so imaginative. And it's in a way, you know, when you, when you watch this, you think, Let's go back in time. Let's go back to when that came out. Let's, let's think about that. And let's think about, you know, just a few years after. Yeah. And when we could process it. And it's like, there were no flying saucers in that movie. And you're like, well, why were there no flying saucers in that movie? Oh, it's just fantasy. That's why. And then fast forward to now, when we get all of these accounts of these fast moving lights, these orbs, these bright shining things geometric this, forms yeah and uh let's not forget the paranormal occurrences that were happening remember the the little toys that started moving around in the yep. kids room right before the yep he you know think about that Enough falling off the walls and that was put in there guys that yeah, was put in there on purpose and i am fully convinced that the reason it was put in there was because of Hanuk. And I think that was part of the high strangeness. You know, that was, that was, that was his little contribution, you know, because, you know, when he released the, the scale for close encounters, he also re released the uh, high strangeness and probability index 
That was yeah. in the same book. That was 1972, I think. Was it the US UFO? Uh, what was that UFO experience or something like that? I don't remember. But um, yeah, so that's where it came from. And um, there's no way in, on earth, in my opinion, that that was just, oh, Spielberg said, let's make something, you know, spooky here and, you know, tied in and sci fi. No, it was not. Yeah, there, the odds of having an no. a eccentric Frenchman. No, that just so happened to be intricately involved in. <laughs> oh, that was Ballet. Yeah, he admits he admits that that was you know modeled after uh, Jacques Ballet. You know that's yeah. that's a fact. But the funny thing is, you know, they were putting this stuff right there, right there in front of us. Heineck was in the movie. You know. Yep. Well, there's that. So think about it. How crazy that seems because it really is crazy. Um, and no one paid attention. No one caught on back then. It took years. It took decades before people really started to catch on. Yeah. You know, the little aliens. You know, remember the little girls? They had to play the aliens. You yeah. Know? And then they had the tall whites. Yep. Spooky stuff. You had the rept uh, not reptilian, but the insectoid type that were walking yeah. up and down. I mean, they, they had all these they different alien. variations of aliens that had been mentioned in abduction cases and inciting cases. Huh? A large... A uh, percentage of those were represented in the film walking off the mothership. And a lot, remember the the big being, the one you're thinking about, it's the big being that yeah. reminds you so much of what Streber uh, yes. would describe. And even in the movie Communion, you know, the movement of those, those, those puppets that they made. I mean, he's not so happy about that. He said he would really like to see him redo that. But, you know, they, they had the budget and they, that's what they did. But, uh, yeah. you know, um, the the movement the 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 way that they portrayed them it's so similar uh, the descriptions and of course someone's like oh wow he watched the movie that's why no nah, that's not it he's him and you know quarter million people didn't watch the same movie you know it's just that that's not that's not how that works but um, but what is amazing to me is that they were really putting it there, Joe. It was right in front of our face. We even talked about that years ago, I think, uh, in one of our episodes that was the assimilation. Yeah, we talked about it in assimilation. So one of the best episodes, I think, uh, to look back at right now. Yeah. You know, a lot of our episodes from the, the, early, uh, the early two years there, they were very, uh, they're very good guideposts at this point. Yeah. Because they make a lot more sense now because all that stuff has kind of come yeah, all the stuff's actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> all the stuff that we we're talking about. Yeah. It's like, well, you got to keep an eye out for this. And all of a sudden, yeah. you're fast forward a couple yeah. years, and the mass media right. is like, well, guys, UFOs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's just, you know, kind of bizarre. I mean, they're and they're still doing it. Um, yeah. You know, uh, I noticed that, well, today, that was the one thing I had sent you guys, which, uh, you know, they're trying to put the um, the legislation back together that was, um, you know, that was changed before it passed last year uh, into the National Defense uh, Appropriation Act. Right? Was that was that the one? Yes. Yeah. And um, you know, no no comment on it yet whether it's going to get in introduced into twenty twenty five or not, but. You know, there's a lot of other things going on. They're not focusing on UFOs right now. <laughs> yeah, this is an there. election year. Yeah. So God don't, us all. don't expect any any UFO momentum at this point uh, because there no. are other things uh, in play. And there are people who want to, uh, you know, want you to think this and think that and, you know, divide and conquer and all that fun stuff. Right. So whatever. Uh, it's It's like a football game. Everybody's got their favorite team. Yeah. You know. But um, aside from that, we do have to live in reality. And reality is that we live in a very, very strange place. That is a fact. And if working, you know, that's just six episodes in. We knew this, by the way. But when you put it together and you see it, I mean, you, you were talking about it when you were over here when we were editing, you know, uh, yeah. you watched it. You got caught up in it. And you it's got like, caught up in it. We forgot we were editing and we were just watching it like, Oh God, there was a peak over here. We got to go. Oh, oh, crap. Crap. How far back was that? How, when yeah. did you quit paying attention to the meters, Joe? Uh, yeah. Back when Beth's was talking yeah. about this. Yeah. Well, back when we got <laughs> we that 1.6. We, we found yeah. it and we're getting caught up and watching it. 
I was I was too busy trying to figure out that 1.6 gigahertz thing, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. that happens too. By the way, just gonna let you know, straight up, that does yeah, happen. Um, yeah. Uh, so um, wow, it really plays out to be that we don't know. We don't know a lot, and I know that sounds stupid, but man, it makes you feel kind of. Um, when you look at the whole picture, yeah, you just don't have any words. I mean, I don't know how else to put that. You know, you really don't have any words. And it's like, again, you can look at it and be like, oh, it's a ball, a bunch of bunk. And, you know, it's all acting. But I, I, I can't act. So if you think I'm acting, God, thank you so much. Because that's, <laughs> that's an amazing <laughs> compliment. Compliment, But uh, no, I can't do that. Um Anyone who knows me knows flat out that I can't look you in the eye and, and lie to you. That's not going to happen. Um, so when I say something like, you know, we saw this or we saw that, we did. I just don't know what it was. And that's, again, I've gone on multiple shows over the years, and you have too, and we've all said the same thing. Yeah, I don't know what it was. It was something. It was something. I don't know what that we something We've always is. been very careful. If anybody who has seen us on any type of production, we have never said outright what anything is. Now, we yeah. might have our theories. We might have our own ideas about it. We don't share those publicly. And if we do, we said speculation, pure speculation. Yeah, we right do. We, go, we actually give a disclaimer that we are speculating. And this, this segment of the blah, blah, blah is pure speculation. But mm -hmm. it, blah, blah, blah. Um, we've always been careful to keep that boundary set that, you know, we're not going to cross this line because this just isn't how anybody should be doing it. No one's an expert. Nobody knows exactly what's going on. And if they tell you they are, they're lying to you. Just run. Yeah. It's the best advice I can give you. Just run. Because the next thing you know, you're going to be in a cult. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Especially when they start telling you that they know what this is and that it wants this. When you hear yep. that it wants this, run. Yep. Don't look back. Just run. Because that's somebody who has interpreted this in a way that their belief system is guiding them. Um, either either yeah. for themselves or they're doing it maliciously. It's one of the two. Uh, I will preface... This there is an episode in this where I directly ask something, don't know what oh, the question, yeah, and it responds, yeah, that cold chills, cold and chills. that was just bizarre because it was immediate, <laughs> and we were like, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one's <laughs> you'll get to see that. It, it, yeah, is, that weird. it is a trip, it is a trip, it is, um, it. Yeah, that's was it like five? Yeah, was it five witnesses? That one yourself. That's that, like that's five, that's yeah. It's like five witnesses to that, wasn't there? Uh, there were three, six other people other than us there. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, we walked up into that forest with eight. Mm -hmm. people. Only six and came back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> It's not true. We sacrificed them to the demon. <laughs> <laughs> see, we can. We're not going to stop doing that either. So just <laughs> yeah, you're, you'll see some of that in the show. It's, it's, um, it, it's it's you can't separate the human element out of this stuff, and and human. too many productions I think do. Um, Don't insult it like that. All right. <laughs> so it's uh, it's fun. And there's um, yeah, there's just there's so much going on, guys. And like we can talk about some of it. We can't talk about other parts of it. It's like um, Roswell. And it's yeah, exactly you can't talk right. about Roswell. Yeah, it's our Roswell. Roswell. No. And uh, but but guys, there's some really cool things coming up. You're going to be able to catch us at the events that we posted up uh, just a little bit ago. I'll splash that up on the screen for those of you guys who are watching again. Um, and, and come hang out with us. We, you know, Mothman festival is like the, the weird Mecca. So you guys, weird, just come, it is, it's very fun. And you guys just come out, hang out with us. It's going to be an absolute ball. It always is. Yes. It's crowded. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's yeah. 10,000 times more worth it than any other kind of 
event that I could think of. I agree, hundred percent. Yeah, um, that, it's just amazing. And and uh, then come hang out with us at uh, CryptidCon because Georgio Sukalos. Like well, you don't need more. Could it be? Do you? Yes, could it be. will be, and he's going to be Mr. there. Mr. Could it be? Is going to be. That could be. Um, yeah. And I, you know, in Giorgio's defense, I know he gets a lot of crap, but he's a really cool guy. Um, yeah, he's super nice. You you won't be disappointed. He will answer your questions. Um, and yeah, his hair does look like that. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Just because I knew someone was going to ask that, and it's like the constant thing. It's like, yeah, actually, he does. And but he's he like Ron said, he's one of the coolest people you ever meet in this community. Um, and in general, he's not fake. Yeah, he's yeah. not fake. And uh, if you ever get to hear his origin story, oh my gosh! Yeah. And I hope that you do because, um, yeah, I liked him right from the get go anyway, just because of you know some of the stuff he did, obviously, you know, aliens. But the thing is, he has this unbelievable origin story. Again, it's like something just clicks in the universe and yeah. the right people end up going and doing this or doing that. It's like a, a guiding hand that just yeah. kind of, I'm just saying what it is. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what it is. And I know what that sounds like, but yeah, that is exactly what it sounds like. Um, and that's what it is though. There, there's just something, there's so many coincidences that it just ceases being coincidence <laughs> at some point, you know, but, yeah, his yeah, story. it turns into the Blues Brothers real quick, and we're sitting here jumping yeah. into a car saying, we're on a mission from God. No, God no, <laughs> we take not. off. That's peeling that's out called. of a parking lot. <laughs> that's called a cult. Remember back from what he said earlier. <laughs> that's a cult. That is not what we are. Uh, this is not a cult. Okay. Um, I know there's a lot of people who, they absolutely think it's hilarious uh, that you know, I'm involved in this paranormal research thing, by the way. Uh, you know, some of my, uh, uh, the people I've, I've worked with, and I know I've had jobs over the years, it's crazy. But uh, some of the people I've worked with and some of my family, they're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like, yeah, I know. It's, it's just weird, right? Well, okay. You like doing what you do? And most of them don't, by the way. I just right. want to say. Most people hate their jobs. No. That's so if you, if you can find something that you really like to do uh, and you can turn that into uh, just anything, you know, just like we have here with Wild and Weird Radio, you know, yeah. because, again, this show is paid for by people who actually sit here and like to watch us and, yeah. and hear what we have to say, which is just absolutely and, amazing. And, and I'll never part understand of that, it. To, to, to make that a awesome. little bit more clear for everybody too, you know, this show is paid for the, the bills for this show are paid for. So Ron and I don't have to carry that on our shoulders. You guys cover that for us. You know, it, this show and what we're doing it doesn't pay any of our real bills. <laughs> no, but it definitely doesn't. The, the fact that you guys keep this from being a burden on us, just because we, for the first couple of years, we were out here just doing it to do it. Oh, we did it. Yeah. I and, mean, that's the whole And point. that was all, those first couple of years, that was all on our shoulders. We were financially supporting that. And then we had mm -hmm. people who came in who linked arms with us who we just became don't, donors you know we just don't have to make as much stuff which means that yeah. we can make other stuff for you guys uh, right so it's it's kind of pays off in that respect and speaking of it which it really does you know and on the last uh, on the last live go back and watch it because we gave away one of those things that uh, yeah. you know you uh, you helped to get and it it helps covers the expenses on the workshops for the mm -hmm. the some of the um you know, demonstrations we're doing and it oh, helps gosh, yeah. cover equipment costs and stuff that we need yep. to keep this show going further down the field because stuff yep. breaks and you got to get new crap. Stuff breaks, you got to upgrade, you got to get better stuff. Yeah. You know, there's, you know, there's all kinds of future projects that have to be worked out. And there's just so many things, yep. but, you know, and, and it's because of you guys that we get to do that and that we get to do it and not have to be hindered hmm? by, well, we have to do this now. It's we got to go do this show to save up. Yeah, exactly. We got to go do this show. So we got to make this much yep. at this show. Exactly this much. And you know that happened at a that few shows. That happened a lot, man. 
That's again, how that's how this whole thing was built. <laughs> that's again just the weirdest stuff that I've ever yeah. seen. I remember uh, on some of these shows, on some of these shows we went to, and it yeah. was like we have, you know, we got to get this piece of equipment. I remember that, and it yep. wasn't a we we need it. Like we we were just going to get it once we want it. Is we have to have it, you know? Yeah, because and, we hit a wall and yeah, we needed. Yeah, we need this piece of equipment, and boom. There it was. We made it during that show somehow. And it's just like every little thing like that just kept building up and building up. And um, I just think we're right where we're supposed to be. That's, And I think that that is because of everybody who listens, everybody who watches, everybody who tunes in. And you don't have to do anything other than hit a share button. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. that's this, a simple this is don't, don't 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 get it crossed this is not one of those things where we're going to start saying oh yeah go to this account click this link do no. this give us this money no we're we not do we're that. just saying thanks for the people who have <laughs> no. we don't we don't do that and yeah, every, we will every, never ask you for your money well we might but that'll be for you that'll know, be for an exchange usually or a workshop <laughs> there's you'll get something if we're asking you to pay a price or we're asking you to do a thing you're getting something other than content <laughs> yeah but exactly to the people who actually freely freely sponsor this show yeah. who are the executive producers of this show yeah, who roll do all this people. stuff let and them, make the gears turn i'm gonna, them, gonna rattle them off for you guys. yeah let them know who those people are this is who keeps this show free and so your executive producers of this show are adam good lw marshall Teresa of Teresa's haunted history of the tri-state larry hose ada cox nancy white scott holbrook lisa finding the trackway tommy swigger Pat, Seth Lamille, Beans, he's a tattoo artist. Go check him out. Uh, he's in Cross Lanes, makes some really cool stuff. Plus, he makes some really wild felt creations. Oh, yeah, I can't forget Small Town Monsters, Eyes in the Woods, James Nelson, and our amazing super chatters, Dewey the Dooster Edwards, Spooky Appalachia, Guitar Chains Craig, Travis Erednick, Jeffrey Steele, Russ Bailey, Chris Coots, Bigfoot Littlefoot, Terry Summerfield, Sarah Ramsey, Julie Bug, Donna Ho, Angie Breeden, Jen Clower, Jamie Snell, Ike the Fob Daddy Fobber, Ashley Hill of On Wednesdays We Talk Weird, and Lotus Flower. Uh, oh, yeah, this list keeps going, guys. Wendy the Pooh Bear, that is probably my favorite username, oh, yeah. and Asher's Creation. <laughs> Yeah, and that list, like you said, just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And those are people who freely have just simply either got a, a super sticker or who have dropped, you know, yeah. uh, a buck here and there. Super. What What are the uh, executive levels? Do you, Do you remember when they do that? How do they get that? Because I can't remember. What uh, yeah, the, the executive producer level is once. Uh, over your period of of giving to the show, you hit executive producer level once you hit one hundred and fifty dollars. Is that what it is? One hundred and fifty. Okay. Th uh, I've got a tally that I keep yeah. over here on my screen. Yeah. And um, some people literally opened the door into the executive producer chair. Yeah, it's just amazing. And, and we con we actually they're executive producers. Like we're not kidding. Like we'll we'll talk to those guys. They give us ideas for shows just like everyone else. Um, but it doesn't we'll mean we're going to listen to them. Okay. So <laughs> right, 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 exactly. But you know, um, sometimes we do. But we uh, we we invite them to certain things uh, to get their opinion and and yeah. whatnot, and because they're they're the ones who are keeping this thing rolling. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm very thankful to everybody out there. Like I said, uh, you just you know, letting us do something that we really enjoy to do, and uh, and and for some of the folks who who are just over here on the audio side, the those a lot of those people. Um, there's, there's like four or five of the folks who are on the executive producer bench that donated like $2 here, mm -hmm. $4 here. And, yeah. and they made it there. That's just, yeah, it, it doesn't have to be all at once. That's what you're saying. No. I know what you're saying. And it doesn't be any, like I said, all you got yeah, to do is hit a share. Anything at all. But we'd like to, we like to brag on the folks who are because oh, they're we're going to get to listen for free. Oh yeah, I mean they're making it happen. They're making they're the reason you guys are getting to hear this. So you know yeah. they need they need some recognition. I think they there's keep a lot it free of, for you and for us. Yep, and they're happy to do it, and yep. that's just such a great thing. We are trying to build a nice community out here, and we've been working at it now for what almost six years, something yeah. like that. It's a um, time. a long time. You know, the Facebook live years. Yeah, yeah, a long time, and <laughs> um, it's uh, it's just getting to the point to where. I feel like uh, the reach is there. 
um, the mission is set at this point. Yeah. And it's basically to not really find answers because, I, again, I don't think we're going to find answers. But it's yeah. to make everyone realize it's okay to have these sightings. It's okay that you saw this and you saw that. It doesn't mean that something really bad is going to happen or you're an evil person or, you know, this or that. It means that you witnessed something that you can't explain, just like your ancestors probably did, just like your ancient ancestors did thousands of years ago. And yes, I did it, and I did it on purpose. <laughs> because this stuff has been going on for thousands of years. Probably longer than the rest of us have been around. Absolutely. And, you know, that's a story in its own. And we will probably pick right back up with that uh, at some point in the future when we start redoing the actual podcasts yeah. again, uh, because there's a lot that's coming. And man, I can't wait to actually be able to sit down in front of you guys and tell you, you know, the, what we observed and look back at all of this and uh, and, and get your opinions on what you think's going on. Absolutely. We're building it. We're building it slowly, but we're building it. And and guys, go go check it out. Remember, this is going to be over on Small Town Monsters channel. It's mm -hmm. not going to be here. You have yep. to go to Small Town Monsters YouTube. Yep. Go and subscribe to them if you haven't already. That way you're notified of all the content because we're not, yeah, we're doing Paranormal Horizons, but we've also filmed for two other Small Town Monsters things this year yeah. <laughs> that you're going to see us in. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, you definitely want to go catch those. And the only way to do that is if you're subscribed there. Um, but you'll uh, you'll definitely want to check it out to catch Paranormal Horizons. Remember, mm -hmm. that is the 14th of July, worldwide release. Worldwide. If you are a member over there, a squad a squad member at Small Town Monsters. You get early access, 4K and ad free, baby. So um, jump in, do that uh, if you can, and um, then you know tell your friends about it. Make yeah. sure that they know to come over here to Wild and Weird WV on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the other stuff, especially to jump on here and catch it once a month when we do Beyond the Horizon live. Uh, where we go over the previous week's episode and further back episodes if people are asking questions about them. And let's not forget our own uh, you know, presentation that we do in the middle of the live, which is In Focus. Yes, Every the once month. a month we do an, uh, a, a segment called In Focus where we bring up all of your accounts. You, you submit these. These are viewer submitted. And uh, we review the data. We look at the wow. uh, cases. We look at the video, the audio, the pictures, the stories. All of and, right there. And we, we go over it along with the community. And guys, if you're not joining us on the live community, we curate the community, okay? It is very well taken care of. The people who are on there are fan freaking oh, yeah. fantastic we don't let anybody come in there that's the beauty of having multiple people on the screen i'm normally in the chat watching for people that i can smash with the band hammer and get rid of them to keep them from harassing our folks yeah and it's uh, a safe place it, is what he's saying it's a very safe place it is it's a very safe place where you can come share your experiences share your thoughts doesn't we don't matter do politics we don't it either you know that we don't do politics in there just letting no. you know right up front especially this year that's okay if you got your opinions that's wonderful there are boards for that there are places for that but yeah. this is about paranormal events we keep this is the about politics UFOs, you know unless bigfoot is running for president or well, I, the, the only time that we have set. actually injected politic stuff was with the UFO. Well, yeah, form. that's different. I, I mean, I'm we talking had about, to. I'm talking we had about to because we were looking at goes. the the differences. It, what we weren't telling you who to vote for. We were yeah, telling you that you needed to vote for people who had your best interest to to push for the truth. Right. And but that that's literally as far as we went. <laughs> well, that was the Senate <laughs> so, anyway. So you know, yeah, there's right, that, you know. right. And um, and it's it's because there were a bunch of wackadoodles trying to say it was demons. <laughs> oh, there there was, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, well, you know, <laughs> and you know, I want to touch this real quick because we got a, like a couple of minutes. I mean, goodness knows we have the time. Obviously, um, <laughs> we had someone who asked a question on the uh, 
on on one, I think it was on actually on In Focus, and I couldn't get to it because I was busy all day. And I, I came back to look for it, and all I saw was the notice. And when I clicked on it, it disappeared. But they had asked about, uh, particularly, did I and did you, did we, did we use Sage during um, and after, uh, prior to and after some of our, inv- our investigations and I wanted to answer that and and they took it down and I don't know why they did that I and I, I wasn't offended by it or anything I was just busy and couldn't get to it I have a real job too but look yes yes we do and we don't do it as a gimmick we do it no. uh, in multiple ways we don't do it at every single one no. no but if we're in an area where our ancestors were because you know we we definitely do have native ancestors and i'm i'm very proud of that uh to me that is a way to uh just give reverence give remembrance and to give thanks and you know to be honest in some of these places i'm okay asking for a little protection from my i'm I'm, I'm okay saying hey can you keep an eye out for me yeah yeah (laughs) i'm pretty i'm pretty much okay to say you know great great, great grandfather is it okay for you to you know kind of you know Watch it, watch out for me here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, I wanted to answer that because I know we uh, we talk about that a, a few times here and there, and we try to keep beliefs out of it and so forth. But yeah, I mean, we do do that, and um, that's <laughs> you said do do. We do do. We do do that. <laughs> that is. I had funny. to, guys. It's been too long. I had to. It's been a while, but yeah, we do, and. Um, I think that uh, should we recommend others do that? No, because that is up to you. If you want to do that, if it makes you feel good, then yes, you by all means and, do it. Because there's, there's also a, certain... a way to do it. You know, it's if you're mm-hmm. gonna do it, just like every other kind of practice, learn how to do it. Yeah, don't just burn sage to burn sage. Well, that's true too. You um, know, don't just true. burn tobacco to burn tobacco. Do it. You know yeah. where they can learn how to do that the right way, Joe? Thunder in the Mountains powwow. That's what I'm thinking. In and for real, that wasn't Hang a plug. We that's... will introduce you to yeah. the folks. Yeah. And, and you know, you can uh, you can learn how to do these things in, in a way that... It, Respectful. It, 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 we're not Respectful. Never, uh, like, no. It's not crazy. It's not like a, oh, I got to... Uh, 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 no, this is... Is straightforward. It's but you yeah. you should know how to do it if you're going to do it. Don't just light it and say, "Oh, okay, I'm good." <laughs> know why you're good. <laughs> well, what's really funny about Sage nope. that uh, is amazing about it, and again, this goes into that, is that you know they've proven that yeah. burning sage in a room, literally, it's antimicrobial. Yes, yes it's an antimicrobial that lasts for up to almost a month. Yeah. Now, how did your seven days? Yeah, how did your ancient, you know, ancestors know that one? Who told them that? I'm just saying, just saying. So, yeah, you know, gonna gonna definitely listen to whoever said that. But you know, learn learn the ways to do things. Learn learn the ancient ways. Know why you're doing it. Not just do it to do it. You know, because if you just do it to do it, you're just burning sage, man. You're antimicrobial. You might as well just slather yourself in um, hand sanitizer. You just did the same thing. <laughs> it, does, it, it does smell good. I'll give you that. It does smell good. It smells really good. And man, I tell you, there's some really good. Um, there's some really good resins out there too. If you if you yeah. really like, uh, as far as you want to get into a, not necessarily smudging, but if you want to get into uh, just you know uh, aromatherapy kind of. Uh, yeah kind of a realm of the whole thing there's some really good resins out there and you can catch those usually at some of the uh, renaissance fairs they'll they'll sell those um you can order them online also but yeah. it's really i advise you to go out and actually smell them because my gosh some of that stuff's amazing yeah like the uh, mayan copal for example it's uh yeah. it's yeah. impressive it's impressive. So yeah, that's uh, that's a really good thing. Um, so yeah, I, that's what I wanted to get at. And you know, I know we've been asked about that before uh, about you know protection and all this, um, because you know we do go at it as a more of a scientific method. But and there's also a very spiritual side of us that mm-hmm. we don't uh, just openly portray. Uh, in these investigations, um, it doesn't matter what you believe or or who right. you believe, you know, in any of that. That's up to you. It doesn't doesn't matter. But what does matter is that uh, 
you uh, understand that there are things out there that can really mess you up. And uh, there are things that will protect you from that in a way, whether that be energy whether that be some way of manipulating these metaphysical, you know, forces, you know, call it what you want. It's all about those labels, you know. Um, I think that it comes down to that. So, you know, so do your thing. Smudge, yes, right? So there's your answer, do. whoever it was that yeah. was asking the question. A great question. Yes. Just an incredibly yes, great do. question. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. So, guys, remember, every Thursday, live, right here, on YouTube, you're gonna have to jump on. I know. I know we have a huge audio listening base. If you guys, just even a quarter of you guys, would jump over oh to YouTube, my. you have no idea how much of a difference that would make. Oh yeah, like literally, just a quarter of you guys would move over. Um, and, and again, we apologize for the hiatus, and and we're gonna try to make something for you guys every so often. But if you want to ke keep up with us, definitely jump over on the live because we are gonna keep that thing rolling. We haven't missed a beat yet. Except we are for the Fourth of July. Yeah, 4th of July. that's because like our show airs during prom firework time, so <laughs> like you know it just made no sense. Point. To be like, go have fun. We'll see you this week. Next I week. actually played. I actually played ball out that night. So, and um, yeah. you know it, it's uh, it, everything's moving along, guys. We're still here. We're still doing what we're doing. We're still showing up at some of the events. So if you definitely want to catch us out there, find us at Mothman Flatwoods, uh, the um, Braxton County Fair, uh, Cryptid Con, the yep. Thunder of the Mountains Powwow. Those if you have anything that's coming up next year, you want us at? Let us know now. Yeah. Let us so, know now because that is so going to. Yeah, yeah, that's important. Don't wait to the last minute because I know a lot of you guys will do that. And, yep. you know, and I get it because you think, well, you know, uh, you know, what are the odds of them having something on this day? Well, right now it's pretty, pretty good. good. It's pretty good. <laughs> pretty so, good. So yeah, don't wait. Last two years it was pretty yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, we did have to turn down a couple before because yep. of that. Yep. Um, so, so, you know, we apologize for that, but that's just how it is. We don't have all the time in the world unless I get this stupid time machine to work. Right. Well, uh, there's the, we've we've covered the housekeeping there. So you guys are awesome. We appreciate each and every one of you, all of our executive producers out there, all of our super chatters out there. We thank you, everybody who's listening to us out there and running around uh, doing your thing at work or in the car. You guys are amazing, and we're sorry we haven't been there the last few months, but. We're going to be producing some more for you and things will hopefully get back to normal here in the fall. Um, but until then, we love you guys. You all in audio land are fantastic. We've missed you. I know you've missed us. We've heard about it. So here, here's our thank you to you guys. We just wanted to give you all an update to let you know we're still rolling, still alive. Everything's still, the band is still together. The band is stronger than ever. Oh yeah. And, and it is uh it's it's just moving moving forward guys i think so. we need a new bass player maybe maybe a key <laughs> section some horns at this point i don't know right maybe it's a steel drum home. i know we had some jamaican people down there at one time that were listening to us you know maybe some jamaicans come up here and right. play some steel drum for it i'd love that right i would give you guys like a rundown but we've not had that for a while so <laughs> <laughs> after after this show we'll know but um, but thank you guys. We appreciate every one of you all. Um, come check us out. Hang out with us at one of the shows. You never know when, if you're in Point Pleasant, that we're also going to be there. So shoot us a message and check and see if the odds are we're probably going to be there. And uh, we'll meet up, hang out, take some pictures. And, you know, Go go do the golf thing. Go, go do yeah. the escape room thing. It's just an amazing experience, like I said. Make sure you do it. It's going to be something that you... You will remember always. I promise you that. Yep. Whether you fail or succeed, you will remember it always. It it's a it's a great time. So thank you guys. And not next week, but next Thursday on YouTube, you'll catch us. And remember, jump over, catch Paranormal Horizons. It's on. It's live right now. It's live right now. Go watch it. It's go watch it. Stop doing it's this. Just go watch it. Then come Go over on. next Thursday and we'll talk about it on the live. That's a plan, right? Let's do that. Yeah, that's it. It's beyond the horizon this Thursday, baby. Yeah, All right, guys. Thank you. Stay wild and weird. And remember, we're still here. We're still weird. 
it's getting weirder. Oh, yeah. Stay wild and weird, folks. Bye. <laughs>